Our next final features the number one and two seeds. Tai Su Ying, the defending champion, is up against Akane Yamaguchi. Well, in the top half of the draw, Tai Su Ying had to beat the World Championship bronze medalist. And in the bottom half of the draw, it was a real thriller with Yamaguchi coming through against the Olympic and World Championship silver medalist, Pusala Venkata Sindhu. This is the Yonex All England Open Badminton Championships 2018 and the women's singles final. Please welcome the players. First up, the number one seed, a defending champion from Chinese Taipei, Tai Zhu The defending champion, the world number one. Tai Su Ying of Chinese Taipei trying to do what no other women's singles player has done here at the All England Championships for 12 years, and that is retain the women's singles title. Japan. Trying to win a second title in two weeks, fresh from victory at the German Super 300 event last week. Winner of three titles last year, including the Super Series finals and the China Premier Super Series. This the tenth meeting between these two players. Tai Su Ying has the slight advantage, having won five of the previous nine, including the last time they met, which was the final of the French Super Series. In fact, it's the fourth time that these two players are meeting in a final. The previous three, the head-to-head -head is 2-1 in favour of Tai Su Ying. Right, red or the black? Yeah. Um, Great. Yeah, okay. the, the Denmark Super Series of 2016, and then the Service. next two finals, the Asian Championships and the French Open last year, it's been Tai Su Ying. Well, the number one and two seeds playing against each other, Tai Su Ying, 23 years of age, born in Kaohsiung, enjoying her 68th consecutive week as world number one. Became world number one on the 1st of December 2016. The last player to retain an All England Women's Singles title was Xi Xin Feng, who in fact won three in a row, 2005, 6 and 7. Well, as far as her route through to today's final, it was only her semi-final yesterday against number eight C Chen Wufei, the World Championship bronze medalist. She actually came in, in that second game from 16-20 down and made it very tight indeed, saving four game points there. But she was dominant in the third game, as you can see, an hour and four minutes for that semi-final yesterday. So to her opponent, the number two seed, Akane Yamaguchi, born in Katsuyama City in Fukui. And she is enjoying her 30th week in total as world number two. She is trying to become the fifth player from her country to win an All England Women's Singles title. And when you see who she is beaten en route, the last two rounds against both Olympic finalists, the gold medalist from Rio, Carolina Marin in the quarterfinal stage, and then yesterday in the semi-final, the silver medalist, Pusala Venkata Sindhu, came from 17-18 down, won four straight points to close it out, 21-18. So the umpire for this one, Cornelia Schroeder, Mark Guinier of Belgium, the service judge. Now, the number one and two seeds, you'd think it would happen quite often 
uh, but this is the first time since 2006 here at the All England that the number one and two seeds have met in the women's singles final. And the 2006 final, it was Zhejiang Feng beat Zhang Ning. So it was the number two seed that won that year. Oh, whichever player wins today, they'll be the first to win two World Tour titles this year in the women's singles discipline. the number two seed, Akane Yamaguchi, gets this women's singles final underway against the defending champion, Tai Su Ying. Oh, that's a lovely shot. You'd think it would happen more often, wouldn't you, more than the number one and two seeds playing against each other, but I think the women's singles discipline is so strong at the moment, I think there's about eight or ten players that could win any particular tournament. I couldn't have said it better myself. I think it's purely due to the very tough competition in the, in the women's singles. Uh, so many have the chance to, to win it, and what is even better is from so many different nationalities. Yeah. Singles draw, which we saw a moment ago. This is the yeah. second rally of the match. We had four players from four different nations at semi final stage. This is the seventh event of the year. It's the fourth time that it's happened this year. But nine of the 12 Super Series last year, we had four women's singles semi finalists from four different nations. Emphasizing your point. And it was only a few years ago the IOC were complaining that badminton was a one-nation sport in women's singles. Yeah, that's long gone. It yeah. has changed a lot. It's going wide. Yeah. So how do you see this unfolding, Morton? I mean, we saw... Akane Yamaguchi's speed around the court yesterday, her retrieving abilities. Tai Su Ying is the most delightful shot maker. And you can always expect the unexpected from Tai Su Ying with her choice of shots. Yes, um, there, there is no doubt that when it comes to skills, uh, Tai Su Ying is one of the very, very best. However, I also feel that, you know, when we've seen her play in the past, she's having this tendency to go on a few walkabouts. Mm. And against Yamaguchi, she cannot afford it. Yamaguchi will be biting her heels the whole way, making sure that Tai Su Ying is suffering as much as possible. And should she have this lapse of concentration, I think uh, Yamaguchi is standing a good chance. So Tai Su Ying have to be very focused and stay in the game the whole time, not making easy mistakes, but really keep producing fantastic shots. Yeah. French Open, the opening game was totally, totally one-sided. 21-4 the scoreline. Yeah, today is a new day. Yeah. And if if you look at it, uh, you mentioned it yourself. Six. Uh, Yamaguchi, Three. she won in, in China. Then she won the, the finals in December last year. She went on to win Germany just the other week. She has played a, an awesome tournament here this week. I think she is really, really on form. Four, 
And this was one of these beautiful shots that we were talking about. Opening up the court completely. Outright winner. Su Ying to the back of the court initially. Hit the top of the tape and just trickled over. Perfection from a low position, mm. and there's less perfection. Yes, <laughs> service error. It wasn't yeah. even deep in court, but it was wide of the service line, the centre service line. Whoa. Oh. Eight, yeah, you have to be careful when you play a Yamaguchi. That's you're playing it too low as, as what's happening here. She's very good intercepting it, cutting the shots off and playing good winners as we just saw here. she should play it or not. Yes. There was a slight chance it was out on the on the sideline. Oh, it's called good. So there's a challenge here from Yamaguchi. The Yamaguchi challenge is fault in. It's close. Yeah. It's worth having a look. Judge was absolutely correct. There's just one challenge remaining one for Akane Yamaguchi. Show is over. Seven, nine, play. and flick or push a, a little bit too flat or is it just Yamaguchi's quality to get behind it and intercept? It's a combination of, of both and uh, Tai Su Ying really have to make sure that when she's playing these lifts that there's height enough and pinning her opponent on the baseline and not so she's able to cut them off as what she's done here on a few occasions. with the advantage, a three-point advantage here in the open game. The trophy that this match is all about. Yeah, off 
balance. Therefore, not so much time to settle in the defence. Seven titles from seven finals. in the final of the Malaysian Masters was the first loss in the final for over 14 months and after nine consecutive wins in finals. Wasn't it like 24-22 in the, in the third game against uh, Rachanok? That's right, she had two match points but yes. failed to convert. But it was a really good match. I wasn't there but I saw it on TV. again trying to play too flat aggressively down the line and getting punished oh. and that's the second time she's doing that yeah. one yeah, and it was played to perfection too yeah. outright winners she she looks i guess as if she's going to lift it yes and almost does she cut under it a little she bit she cuts under it a little bit and she did that on both occasions for quite some time at the start of these rallies. And that's understandable because we've seen Tai Su Ying, when she gets to the front of the court, getting closer to the net, she can really produce fabulous shots. And at the same time, Yamaguchi also wants to make this a, a physical battle. Line judge was unsighted, unsighted. so... The umpire is going to ask Korkai just to make the call for us. So ne neither player will lose a challenge here. I instinctively thought that was long. Yes, slightly long. Yeah. I think Tai Su Ying is right in leaving it. Now, when the player stands between the shuttle landing and the line judge, of course the line judge can't see. And they just indicate that they were unsighted. the lead. Race to a two-love lead in this final. Since then, has been playing catch-up until now. She's just able to disguise it, holding it back a little bit before she flicks it into that deep corner. Oh, 
That was great judgment leaving that. That one was in. to that net shot that time on the, her forehand side, but the backhand net shot from Tai Su Ying. Yeah, from a very low position, but very nicely played here by Yamaguchi, not going cross court. It's so tempting to go cross court on that push, but she's holding it and going down the line, which was shown to be the perfect shot and creating the winner. Service error a piece. Oh. Oh, expect the unexpected. Yeah. She's often playing that cross court drive, getting out of trouble from the deep forehand corner. She's often playing it and uh, Somehow the, she's catching the opponents, but this one here, Yamaguchi should have got back. Got back the smash? Yes. Missed it. She was not going cross court. She was so much under pressure that she simply did not have the angle to play that shot. Singles. Yeah. So close. Yeah! And now Gucci goes into the lead at this crucial, crucial stage. And a run of three straight points. Been earned by the number two seed Yamaguchi. What a return. Yes, dare to win positive.
Ball out, attack by Yamaguchi, trying to win it. That's good play. What a turnaround in that rally with that delightful little net shot from Tai Su Ying. She'd been under severe pressure. Not only the dive, but she gets up so quickly. That net shot, that yes. little sway the body one way and just play the shuttle mm. safely back to the net. So 20 all, and we require extra points until there's a clear two-point winning margin. Not only the longest rally, but I think the best rally so far. Yamaguchi was playing a very positive rally. She really tried to force the winner. Fly straight drop from Tai Su Ying. Played with disguise. 21. I don't think it's hurting Yamaguchi physically, but it's making sure that she's not quick on her her shots. She's always delaying. Tai Su Ying is always delaying her shots, and uh, Yamaguchi is getting a little bit late on them. So let's gain point now to Tai Su Ying. See late again there. I see there. There. And she converts on her first game point opportunity, having saved a game point at 19.20. Tai Su Ying closes out the opening game 22-20 in 21 minutes of play. What a thriller. <laughs> game, Tai Su Ying was really able to buy her a little bit extra time by playing all these tricky shots the whole time. She just got this fraction of a second all the time to be on top in the rallies and that's what really secured it 22-20. Uh, nothing happened, she just lost the step. Well, she looked back towards the courts. Did she slip or... Yeah, well, she's asking for the court to be mopped. Must have felt there was a little slip.
That's a super angle. That is a good shot. But what made it so good was actually the attacking, the attacking cross court clear here. This one here. Look at how much pressure Yamaguchi is under, and then that shot to perfection cross court again. Really stretching Yamaguchi. It's not the tallest athlete, so she's had to do a lot of covering. Disguise drop but back to exactly the same place. It's possibly the most difficult shot in singles to play that shot. To so get the right ankle, the right pace on a shot like that is not easy. Because you're your body movement is sort of the going out of court, that you have to have real control of the racket head? Yes, it's very difficult. And you very often see that players attempting the shot like that is making a mistake. Yeah. which you have to hang in there yeah. to make sure that this is not slipping away. So far, Tai Su Ying has not done one of her concentration laps, so she has stayed at a very tight ship, really kept it very cool, playing her shots, not making that many mistakes, but scoring points. That's a beauty, isn't it? Oh, that's just outrageous. Yamaguchi, one of the quickest players in the women's singles game, and she was left completely and utterly stranded. Such was the disguise. Look at this, hold, flick. Didn't even see it coming, looking at it again. Oh, my God, how did she play that round the head? <laughs> Bend her back double. And now she's back in the rally. Yeah. The quality of the shots from Tai Su Ying at the moment is outrageous. Seven. Time after time, look, look at, at that. that. Yamaguchi is so much under pressure. That one, she's under pressure. Then now she's back in the rally, and then the last one there again, just fantastic. Well. In your comment just a moment ago that Yamaguchi needed to hang in there. Yes. E even more so now. Nice to see Tai Su Ying whenever an opponent asks to change the shuttle, she immediately does. Yeah, and there's never any question about it. Yeah.
lesson in how to outmaneuver your opponent. A masterclass at the moment from Tai Su Ying. It is, but here is the option. Oh, it's, uh, it was earlier in the in the rally. Yamaguchi had the option of playing a tight net shot. She was approaching it very early, but she chose to flip it to the baseline. And I actually think she's in a situation now where she she's got to try to score points. She's in a situation where she's got to try to add on the pressure, and it's not enough for her just to play baseline shots. Yes, with a six-point deficit here in the second game, having already lost the first. It looks to me like this lady is beginning to stamp her authority on this final. She's got better and better as the match has progressed. She was pretty good at the start. <laughs> yes. Well, the dream of becoming only the fifth player from Japan to win the women's singles title here at Morningham for Yamaguchi. That is to be realised. She's got to start making her move and make it pretty promptly. 11, five. I think that the problem is that her running tactic is not really working out so well. Uh, tai Su Ying is, is getting out of trouble. She's playing really good shot. The rallies are not that long. Um, she's, she's got to try to start playing better than tonight. Obviously saying that's a tall order to play Bella Babington than Tai Su Ying. But that's the option. She's 12-5 down now and and the whole tactic she's been using for this match, it doesn't work. Yeah. She has to try to do something else. Yeah. Oh. oh, she's missed it. Uh. Well, that really was a, a golden opportunity Six, missed. 12. As we usually say, the easy ones. Yeah. Good judgment. Oh, just wide. Not seems unchallenged. Seven. I think it was wide. She was quite sure that there's no point challenging that one. Morton just exemplified the point you were making because Yamaguchi doing an awful lot of chasing, an awful lot of running, but she's not doing anything to hurt no. Tai Su Ying. Not the longest rally. I agree. She's got to start trying to find a way to play winners, and obviously one of the options is the net. But having seen this match, obviously Tai Su Ying has played so nicely, such a good touch at the net. But that's the chance, and you've got to play that chance. Eight, 14.
Well, Morton, she may have made the mistake, but do you like to see the fact that she was trying to play back to the net there? I like that one. Uh, but she had one opportunity, obviously, a lot earlier in this rally, where she was approaching the net on the backhand side. And she really had the option of playing a very tight net shot, a spinning net shot on it, but she chose to play towards the baseline, and Tai Su Ying got out of trouble so easily because she's so strong for that from that baseline. Yeah. Tessa Ying is back in this rally. Both of them have had a dive now. of will. My goodness, both players felt the physicality of that rally. Unbelievable. First the dive from Tai Su Ying, then there was a dive from Yamaguchi. And in the end, that was a tired, tired looking shot from the number two seed. Well, longest rally, 42 shots. Probably the best rally, too. <laughs> Dr. Yeah. Patel went to the wrong player. <laughs> yeah. A little plaster needed. And a blood injury. Oh, dear, it's bruised as well as grazed. Surprised the way they throw themselves around the court. But the plasters usually don't last very long. No, because of the perspiration yeah. from the player. But they it's the rules of international sport. You have to treat blood injuries straight away. Yes. Mahatai Song Prachum, the tournament referee in attendance as well. Well, Tai Su Ying says I need the doctor after he's finished with. Yamaguchi, that was the dive. Yep, get back on her court, says Dr. Patel. <laughs> now, you need to treat the other one. <laughs> They're lining up, it's like a casualty <laughs> ward. Yes. Well, what a year she's had so far, Tai Su Ying. Two tournaments played prior to this. The winner of the Indonesian Masters, runner-up in Malaysia. So three tournaments played in 2018, three finals. There's a very good reason why she's the world number one. I'm, I'm very happy that she's maintaining this good form of hers and playing as well as she is, because in, in all honesty, I think it was an odd decision. She chose not to play the World Championship, but to play the university games in Taipei. Yeah. So she did not go to Glasgow in, in August 17. And 
you know, Seven, having eight, such a strong ten. year as she had in 17. You can't help wondering, did she miss the golden opportunity? Is it ever going to come back? Yeah, I know. So, over three minutes since the last rally for the medical timeout on both players. rally from Yamaguchi but is it too little too late I think she needed a rally like the one we had before I know she lost it but for, seeing from the perspective of Yamaguchi despite the fact that she obviously is getting really tired I think she can live with the pain a little bit better she's more playing like that this, this is her style of play yeah and I think she had needed that long rally earlier in this match to try to tie out uh, Tai Su Ying. Yeah, that's interesting. That may well be right. That one just missed. 18, yeah, indeed it did. Su Ying looks as if she's not quite as sprightly as she did. She's getting maybe a little bit later on the shot, just a fraction later. The deceptive shots are not working in the same way. A greater chance for the walkabout, as I yeah. explained about earlier. So there are lots of good things for Yamaguchi if she can get these long rallies. As I say, she will be tired. She will definitely be tired. But this is her game, and she can lift with that pain possibly better than Tai Su Ying can. that Yamaguchi was perhaps mounting a comeback. 19, and now Tai Su Ying with that wonderful, wonderful little block to the net. Two points away from a second consecutive All England title. Third the fourth time that shot is coming, and it's a winner every time. Yeah. 20, Old flick point, deep into 20. the forehand corner. And seven championship points for Tai Su Yun. She's done it on her first opportunity. The first player since Shishin Funk retained her title in 2007 to retain the women's singles title here at the All England Championships. 22-20, 21-13, and Tai Su Ying won the title once again in style. 44 minutes in total. Oh, she off to throwing her racket to a lucky fan. And the ever smile from Tai Su Ying. Hugely respected amongst her peers. A delight to watch. And well champion once more. Yeah. Television interview. Yeah. This, the final rally. Once again, pushing and pulling 
Yamaguchi. And once Yamaguchi was down there on her forehand side, there was a huge, huge gap across court for a simple block, of just guiding the shuttle into the open space. And victory once more to Tai Su Ying. It really has been an outstanding performance all week. Let's join her courtside and hear what she has to say. Let's get a word with the women's singles champion, Tai Tzu Ying of Chinese Taipei. Tai Tzu Ying, tell us, is there more pressure on you when you're defending a title, especially one as prestigious as the Yonex All England? As a women's champion to the Chinese Taipei, is it a pressure for you? For me, it's not a pressure for me, because I really want to be able to participate in the Chinese Taipei, and I'm also very happy to be able to be here to win the title for the Chinese Taipei. There's not much pressure for me because I enjoy playing here, and I'm really happy to win again. Well, it was a fantastic performance, but your opponent, she pushed you very, very hard, didn't she? Took you all the way. Uh,首先这个表现的非常好,比赛非常激烈,那今天对手发挥的怎么样来评价一下? 对，那很高兴我今天后来有坚持住，然后也很谢谢现场球迷的支持。I think uh, for the match played yesterday, we are both very tired. Uh, before coming onto this court, I feel a bit worried because I know my opponent and she can run very fast. And uh, I just want to thank for all the fans here. You are amazing today. The fans have been amazing. A, a message to your fans here and those at home. 对现场的球迷和在家电视机前的球迷，有没有想什么想说的？ 我其实到哪里都拥有非常多的加油声，所以我觉得我到哪里比赛都像是主场一样，都可以打得非常的开心。It's like everywhere I go, I can hear the crowd cheering for me. It's like where wherever I go, it's like playing playing at home. Well, you're very welcome here in Birmingham, the Olympics All England Women's Singles Champion, defending her title, Tai Tzu Ying. Lovely words from Tai Su Ying thanking the fans. They've been amazing this week. They certainly have. We've had a great atmosphere here. The fans are very knowledgeable. They understand the sport and they all appreciate the wonderful play by Tai Su Ying. Well, after that opening game, Morton, I really thought uh, that it was all one way traffic. It was. It was. Uh, it was make or break for for Yamaguchi. As uh, of course, in hindsight, uh, that first set, she was uh, up almost all the way, and only at the very end, Tai Su Ying caught up and and won 22-20. It was a deal breaker, and uh, Yamaguchi should have won it, and uh, she didn't. And as as she said, it was one-way traffic ever since. Yeah. Well, the skills and the easy hitting action from Tai Su Ying really is just a delight to watch. Yeah, she's not using a lot of effort when she's playing, uh, playing her shots, as you say. The execution of her shots is so elegant, so nice, so effortless. And of course, also the way she moves around on the court is same, same. So uh, yeah. she's not using a lot of energy. No. Well. The athletic ability of women's singles players now, the racket skills, the diving, the jump smashes. Well, they're playing the same style as the men's singles players, and it really has become even more enjoyable to watch. Tai Su Ying, the champion, once again here at the Onyx All England Open. Ladies and gentlemen, the victory ceremony for the 2018 Yonex All England Open Badminton Championships Women's Singles. Please welcome our presentation party, presenting the winner's trophy, the president of Badminton England, Diana Troke, 
presenting the winner's medal and the match-winning shuttle. Managing director of Yonex UK, Kei Yanagi, and presenting the runners-up medal, our volunteer of the year, John Tolan. Our 2018 women's singles runner-up from Japan, Akane Yamaguchi! Akane Yamaguchi, the number two seed who came here to Birmingham, fresh from victory at the German Open. Well, she gave her all today in the final, but she had to settle for second best. The 2018 Yonex All England Open Badminton Championships women's singles winner from Chinese Taipei, Tai Tu Yi! A 14th World Tour or Super Series title for Tai Tu Ying. A second consecutive All England Championship. The trophy presented by Badminton England President Mrs. Diana Troke. Congratulations, both players, and rightly so, because it takes two players to produce such wonderful badminton as that. Exciting final, but Tai Su Ying leaves once again as the champion. What a wonderful final. Let's hear it for both of our finalists. What a show these two put on for us here at the Arena Birmingham. Well, it's the 29th title in Once total again, thank you to our presentation party. Her career. And please, ladies and gentlemen, celebrate with our athletes on their lap of honour. The big smile. During the 11 years of the Super Series, no women's singles player managed to defend and retain the All England title. Tina Rasmus and Tina Bell managed to win it three times, but not consecutively. Wang Shoshian won it twice, but not consecutively. It's a remarkable achievement by this 23-year-old from Kao Shuang. Tai Su Ying is champion of the Onyx All England once again and thoroughly deserved so.